Greetings and welcome to SmartwatchTicks.com. Man, these watches are getting better and better, and Z Blaze is beyond beyond. That's beyond too, in case you couldn't count. Beyond beyond. This is the Beyond Beyond watch, and it's all wrapped up here. Let's dive into it and take a look at it, because it's got so much going for it. It's going to be hard to kind of cram it all in. Dear body, dear body, work on a better you. <sighs> Sounds sort of like my New Year's resolution six months ago. Okay, buddy, I will. You got all kinds of things. Really nice presentation, if you haven't noticed, for a gift. Father's Day, all kinds of things coming up. You got a package full of written goodies. That's your manuals and things. Ah! Ah! I think it fell out in shipping. You saw it was wrapped in plastic, so I couldn't prep this one for you and make it look nice. Well, here you go. It was supposed to be sitting like that. Ah, yeah, nice. Okay, um, it's here, and it says Infoware. No, no, not that uh, that uh, blog thing. That's Infoware, I think. This is Infoware. That's the app you're going to use to tether with this one. And, wow, that's a really handsome design on this, isn't it? We're going to look at it in more detail and uh, what else is in the box after I tell you about it. This is, like I said, the world premiere of the Z Blaze Beyond 2. It's got GPS. It's 1.78 inch AMOLED, always on screen display. Oh my God, if that wasn't enough, it's got 5 ATM, really serious waterproofing. Where? Where? The Z Blaze official store, of course, from AliExpress. You can pick it up. Absolutely. Got coupon discounts for you. And check the buying link. May have a couple of other surprise places you can buy it too. Mm -hmm. But you're going to want. Definitely, if you are watching this right now, of course you're watching it now. I mean, if you're watching it right when I put it up, you're in time for this world premiere release between June 27th and July 1st, 2022. Got really special, like half price on this thing during that time frame. If you're outside that window, take a look at the show notes. I'm going to try to have good coupons for you no matter what the best price is. Let's look at it. It's got an aviation aluminum body, the always on screen. Accurate, they're calling it uh, built-in GPS, 24-hour health management, long battery life, atmospheres, five of them. That means you can go down 50 meters underwater with it, and 200 plus personalized watch faces. Now, specific facts, Spec, excuse me, for those of you who want to get into that, here's our dimensions and thickness and display 390 by 450 pixels with a I can look at that 341 ppi up to a thousand nits of brightness. I keep chasing my nits all over. Corning Gorilla Glass on the on the screen on this. Always on display. Yep. Aviation aluminum, stainless steel. The wristband is 22 millimeters. And you got GPS, GLONASS, Galileo, BIDA, all of the uh, different uh, tracking systems in here. Uh, Pulse OX, blood oxygen saturation, proximity sensors, Bluetooth 5.0, so you should have good connectivity. And uh, that's pretty much it. We also have a second page. Now we get into a lot of the details. Here's your health monitoring, your clock features. I'm going to let you read these off of the screen. Uh, activity tracking, running, cycling. Now you normally don't see specs this detailed, but it's really going into uh, giving you what you need to know. Uh, in order to decide if you want this one. As far as fitness goes, it looks like it covers it thoroughly. 180 milliamp hour battery with a 40 day standby time, 15 days of usage. And if you fire up the GPS, you're going to get up to 40 hours of usage. Yep. So if your bicycle runs away from you, you might be able to know where it is once you get it back by following the track, right? Battery life could vary. Here's all the languages and durability. Really great temperature range, minus 40 to positive 45. And again, 5 ATM waterproofing. Are we ready? Inside the box, we have, in addition to the watch, the charger, which is a simple little dock that you set this on usb on that side your spots are on the bottom it goes only one way i love it that i get it the wrong way every time so you can see it ain't going to work that way get it the right way uh-oh uh-oh i'm embarrassed now 
Okay, it's sideways. There you go. And it's strong enough to hold it as well. You can tell these are real, uh, what do you call reality TV <laughs> reviews. I don't edit them other than a little bit. I know I should edit them more. Okay, we're going to charge it up and turn it on for you. However, before we do that, as you all know, we got to take a look at the manual. And inside here is the manual in English, ZBlaze Beyond 2, user's manual, basic specifics of the product, where you want to wear it on your wrist. This is true of all of them. Info where, that's the QR code, but I suggest you download it using the link in the show notes and get it from the Google Play Store, okay? It's, uh, make, make sure it's been pre-checked, as they say, by Google. Here's uh, dock information for charging. Here's how you take the bands out and change them if you want to. More specifications on the watch. And we are into a different language. Now we can play with it. Here it is. I already got it turned on. And guess what, gang? You're looking at the always-on display. Not a problem. Just twist it. It'll light up into whichever watch face you want. And after it times out on whatever you set, from 5 seconds to 20 seconds, it'll pop right back into the always-on display again. Wanted to show you that right up front. And I also want to show you something really cool. That is always-on, right? Well, there's a different always-on. Always-on display right here is turned on. However, if I go into bright screen time, change it from 5, not to 10, 20, always on. I change it to always on. That's a different meaning of always on. It's always on now. It's not going to turn off. It'll stay in this watch face. It will stay in all the screens I show you for at least 30 minutes. I know it's not always, always on, but that's pretty always on. And all you got to do is touch it to renew it for another 30 minutes or so. Anyway, here we go. I got a cool watch face starting things out. We swipe up, we get into all our controls. Brightness can take it. Look how washed out the camera is. That is super bright. It's so easy to see outside. I can turn it all the way down to one and that's just about right for doing the video. We'll make it a little brighter. How's that? Here's flashlight and that gives you full brightness and lets you use the actual watch as a flashlight. Turn it off if you want to. Very easy. All this, these controls are right at your fingertips. Do not disturb. This is your vibration. That's your uh, power saving mode and settings. We come in here and that's where we were before. So let's look at them quickly. You have different watch faces that you can switch between. There's some stock ones. You can download load some from the server like that one that is a really sweet face yeah um i digress where was i i was in uh settings in watch faces so we looked at that uh we have oh that's at the very end you notice so they only scroll one way you have nice rectangular ones digital ones horizontal digital this is a fun uh one fun one that shows you the analog type and you can change the always out display to be analog as well so it kind of flips back and forth between these two all right all right we'll move on you get the idea there are watch faces you get the brightness control same we already saw you've got a an adjustment for your vibration hey one is fine for me two is a little longer and more intense and three well Okay, <laughs> it's up there. You got the always on display. We walked through that, but I can tell you, you also have the ability to change, like I said, from digital to pointer if you want. And you can set activation time either all day or you can set it to go on during the daylight hours. So if you're wanting to go to bed and not have it automatically flip into always on mode in this special always on, uh, then you can turn it off. Very cool. A lot of flexibility. Raise to, uh, to wake, that's your twist your wrist to see the time. Of course, we're in always on mode right now, so that's not going to work. Bright screen time, we showed you that. That's how we set it all up. Do not disturb is basically turning it on. Or there's a smart DNF, DND. Um, you guys tell me in the comments what that does. I haven't quite figured it out on my own. But it's interesting. There's a, a special mode for that. Now, this one is cover the screen to turn it off, okay? And that is turned on. So if it's, if it's true, as soon as we finish this, remind me, I'm going to cover the screen. Okay, screen does not light up. What is that? Oh, no, no notifications. This is for uh, your uh, messages coming in, you know, from your phone, pushed to your 
to your watch if you want. You've got overall system settings, just basic restart, power off, and, and reset. Regulatory stuff, there's that fancy QR code for the InfoWare app, which you can scan here if you want to, if you're on your phone, and get to it. Uh, but again, I recommend you go to the Google Play Store to download it or use the link in the show notes. And then overall device info, this is the Beyond 2 and basic stuff that you'd use for tethering. Okay, that's everything in settings. That's everything on this screen. And ta-da, it went off, but did it? No, it went to always on analog display. And if I twist it, ha, I told you, I told you. And I figured out how to demo it. Have we covered everything? Not really. We're just getting silent. Okay, it went back to the five second thing. That's, that's what happens when you mix these things all up. Because we're going to go on with the whole review, I want to come to our uh, bright screen time and switch it back to always on yeah all right here we go uh cards here we go go we got uh steps and calories burned uh and all of your basic activity there's my overall steps with my goal and calories of my goal you've got heart rate continuous heart rate now tap to measure kicks it in it'll start taking an instant measurement otherwise just leave it alone it'll show you the chart as it's measuring um this will cancel that session come over here you got blood oxygen same kind of thing now we're not seeing a history on it i can take a measurement live and it doesn't do continuous blood oxygen it only does it when you actually activate it wow colorful look at that last night's sleep time yep i got up early what in the middle of the night ish had some water went to the bathroom fiddled around for about 10 minutes or so went back to bed and that's the only time i remember it it got it it captured all of that stuff on the app you'll see more information because it transfers over shenzhen china right now is experiencing 75 degrees fahrenheit under cloudy skies you can set whatever city you want and centigrade or fahrenheit for the weather remote music this will allow you to play music from the phone that uh, will play out of the phone and you can activate it and control it from the uh, the watch. Uh, there's no speaker in here, so we're not going to get the sound coming out of the watch. And then you're back to your watch faces. All of that is everything, and the apps themselves are available from the side button. Tap it, and here we go. We got everything. We got all of our exercises. You got walking, running. Now remember, the uh, walking, running, and cycling are keyed into um, the GPS module that's in here so it can do the tracking for you on its own. Table tennis, badminton, cricket, dance, yoga, Zumba, Pilates, all kinds of different activities are in here and I'm pretty sure you can add more if you want to. Here is the result of a little quick outdoor run I did just to show you guys a five minute run, distance travel, calories, steps, speed, pace, maximum minimum heart rate info and your zone that uh, time you spend in vo2 max again it was just a walk so it doesn't have a lot of high capacity data here's our summary of just your basic pedometer step count calories minutes that i've been um in doing this stuff and and a chart that shows you the daily walking. See, I only power outed when I made that one for you, uh, just to show you. But you've got all that in here, all of the different details. These are the bars for the times that you actually got up and moved. So if you're doing a sedentary monitoring thing, trying to move every hour, this can tell you how well you're doing it as, uh, in addition. That's all under this one. Heart rate we saw, blood oxygen we saw, last night's sleep time we saw. All those are on the cards. This one is um, for the ladies, and this is set up in the app for your cycle, and it'll tell you where you are in your cycle and when your next uh, round should start. Uh, pretty advanced, and you'll see that in the app as well. We've got alarms that you can set for event reminders. You've got a... Uh, on those are the alarms. These are event um, reminders there. Then you've got your music player, which we saw already. The weather. This is a stopwatch. And 
it uh, cannot run in the background, so we'll say exit. Um, but you've got a, an onboard stopwatch. You've got the breathing in, breathing out process if you want to calm your mind. And there it is on uh, expanding. It just vibrated, and there it's going down, and it vibrated again. So you can look at it, or you can close your eyes and just do the activity based on um, what you feel. Whew, we're moving through these messages sent from your phone, countdown timers if you want, whatever there. This is find your phone, and of course, this is the overall settings, which we've looked at. So let's switch over to the app and take a look at how the, uh, the app interfaces with it. We are at the Google Play Store. Infoware is what we're downloading. Set it up, create an account, get yourself all tied in with the watch, it's now automatically syncing the latest data, shows you the watch that you have paired with it, and it gives you all of the information here. This is my uh, step count information. This is not touchable here, but it is at this point. There's the chart you saw on the watch, and that's basically yesterday's and today's. Oh, nice yesterday. Huh? I've worn it for a couple of days. Let's, uh, that's my... Uh, display brightness app that lets me control the brightness on the phone but sometimes it's right on the edge here we go yeah yeah i'll have in the link at the very very bottom where the uh, resource center is and you can go and download that that slider we mainly have it for android watches but it works great on phones too not in the google play store anymore so you gotta look in the show notes at the very bottom mm. that's how i get you down there yeah it's a really fun thing anyway step count um Oh, okay. It shows you the total steps when you touch on it. This was all from yesterday. And this is this today, and it shows you the yesterday before that. So each card, uh, each display here for the day shows you your um, activity. And then here's, of course, weekly and monthly as well is all in here. So that's your step count. This is your actual movement. This is uh, distance traveled when I did my uh, walking activity, which is different than the pedometer stuff that we captured over here. Got that? Calories burned, exercise today. We saw that chart too. And this is very much similar to the step count, but just for calories. Then here's our overall heart rate. This is the continuous heart rate um, chart, and it's showing you the value at a specific time. It's springtime. If you're hearing the birds outside, you know, yeah, sorry. Um, maximum, minimum, all those kind of things. Weekly, averages that you've got over the different days and so forth and of course you can go back and check previous days as well here's yes doggone it i keep hitting that here's yesterday's nice huh? and i guess that dot is the average average heart rate oh wow that's really low min oh no that's the minimum sorry average is 75 okay so it's a pretty well thought out app in how it's presenting the data to you blood oxygen now i wish this were Continuous, but it's not. You get one data point um, for each measurement you take. I only took one today. Yesterday, I think I just have a couple of them in here. Not just one there. One of these days I have two of them. There you go. Uh, so I haven't been really doing a lot with blood oxygen. Think of it more as something that you can check periodically if you feel that you got an issue. By the way, you cannot remotely activate it from the app and have it start on the watch. Some of our watches and app pairs do that, not this one. So it's kind of lean on the blood oxygen. It does use the red diode. I forgot to show you that, but it does do that. Switching over to sleep time. Here it is, pretty sophisticated. And anywhere you touch, it's going to show you the time, what state you were in, and how many minutes. There's my 11-minute awake time at 3.40 in the morning. Pretty robust. There's an, a selecting switch you can turn on to have it do rim sleep, too. That's all the little ones up here, rapid eye movement. Um, it shows you the percentage of that and the breakdown of the actual time and all of those different zones. So many different ways to cut the data. And it does do a really, really nice job of all of this. There's the night before, which was much more robust than eight hour sleep as opposed to five that I just had last night. Sleep time, exercise record. This is the one you saw, the walk that I did. Come in here, you get the map um, from the GPS. And I just walked around my house, so it's just kind of zoomed in really close. Go to graph. 
shows you your pace, stride, frequency. If it's a walk, you get different things for runs and all kinds of other other activities that are available. Here's the uh, actual data itself and the zones that you're in when you're doing your workouts. So you got a good summary in the app transferred over from the phone. And by the way, you'll see in a minute that you can also send this out to Strava. So you're capturing great data that you can also uh, move over to another app if you're using um, an, a third party app. This is interesting, effective standing. It's monitoring uh, when you stood up. I started at six, seven, eight. What is it, a little after nine in the morning right now and I haven't done my standing for this hour. But it's a great way to try to strive for 10 to 12 at least hours of standing throughout the day. That means getting up and moving around. It's a quick and easy sedentary reminder um, or sedentary results display of how well you did. Ladies, are you ready? Here's your whole chart thing. You get in here, you set it all up so you know when you started and how many days total and how many days during and this is your different phases and it shows you all of that stuff and it will give you the notification alert on your phone if you want to for um, when things are something you might want to pay attention to. And of course you saw on the card, it tells you what zone you're in right now. Those are all the cards. You can edit them. You can change the order of them. There aren't any more to add to it though for this watch. Exercise, same kind of thing, but you do it from the phone. This is where you can activate a uh, an exercise. You have the bite hour or whatever mapping, and you can also switch that to Google in the settings. In device management now, here's our uh, watch. That's the power level. I can go over here where it says enabling and show you that we can turn this into a power saver settings. All these commands and controls are here, including changing the sort of the display uh, apps in here and the uh, the cards that you go through when you switch to the side. So you can uh, rearrange everything or eliminate a lot of them or add everything back in, whatever you'd like. The always on display capability, again, you got digital or uh, analog. You can set your times up in here and you can activate all that. Either you can do it in the watch or you can do it from the app if it's easier. Quick replies for text messages, no keyboard in this one, but in the watch. But you can add a quick reply that is custom and you can, when you get a message in, you can tap that quick reply and send that answer back. Kind of a compromise of trying to cram a tiny little keyboard or a voice activated system in a watch like this uh, to be able to ac actually at least reply. Here we go. We can override the screen to turn it off. You can do the time settings if you want to, or just let it sync automatically. Brightness, vibration. You saw all of these on the watch itself. They're duplicated here. Here's our Bluetooth and firmware information. You can do up updates directly from the watch if there's any pushed out there. And of course, you can unbind it as well. So we have just you left. This is where you put in your name and personal information right there. You can set your units to metric uh, centigrade if you want to. Uh, your target settings for steps, distance, calories, and last night's sleep time. See if you hit those targets. Oh, here we go. Here's where I can switch to Google Maps. Yen feedback, uh, other things, and basically about this watcher in here. So that's the overall app for the Beyond 2. It's pretty sophisticated. And this is the watch itself. And again, we have the, uh, it's in the always on special setting mode to where it's going to be on in whatever you're doing for about 30 minutes. And you know what? Battery life is still really great. Even if you use that feature, I'd recommend you keep the the brightness down a little bit, like about a three maybe. If you're going to be outside, you can pump it up, of course. But uh, yeah, all of these, wherever you leave it, whatever it's set on, if you've activated that always on in the timeout, the screen timeout, it won't time out. It won't flip to the always on uh, power saving screen.
I hope that's clear. Anyway, <laughs> you'll figure it all out when you pick it up. And it is available through the Z-Blaze official store at AliExpress. Uh, got a link in the show notes for you. It's going in and out of different uh, pricing right now. It's in a super sale price um, and it'll be only for a few days. So if you're watching this a little bit later, double check when you click on the link what I've got for you for coupons and always on the page itself, look for coupons that might be here to get those coupons, apply it to your price before you check out and you'll be happy camper. Take this thing home. Okay, gang, thanks for watching and we'll see you again soon.